Welcome. Today we are diving into VEX. That stands for Vulnerability Exploitability Exchange. And we're going to cover what VEX is, what the value of it is, and how you can easily add VEX annotations to your SBOMs. I'm always going to start off in your dashboard view, and that gives you an overview of all of your SBOMs. It'll also give you an overview of how many annotated vulnerabilities you have. So we're going to go and increase this by one more. So I'm going to go into the Organizations tab. And I already have an SBOM set up here for us to use today. But before I get into it, I want to talk about what VEX is. So VEX annotations really enhance your SBOM and give you critical context dependent details on vulnerabilities. You know, it's really about pinpointing which issues in your SBOMs actually pose a real threat and which don't. Um, it helps you focus your security efforts where they matter most and streamline how you respond to threats and communicate with customers and vendors. And so it really transforms how you manage risk. It's great for compliance and reporting, and it helps you meet compliance demands with detailed records of your vulnerability assessment. It's critical for stuff like audits and regulations, really um, makes your security operations and risk management much more efficient by allowing you to focus on real threats, you know, saving you a lot of time and resources, and you can focus on what matters most. So let's get into how to do it. So I have this SBOM right here. You'll see a percentage always of your total vulnerabilities annotated. In an ideal situation, you want this to be as close to 100% as possible because any vulnerabilities in your application, if you're choosing to keep them there, you should annotate why they are okay to stay in that application. So I'm just going to pick one of the vulnerabilities. Uh, I'll pick this one. I can always click into it and see what it is. So this one is vulnerable to denial of service. But I've actually gone in and researched it, and I've determined that this is not affected in this particular application. So I'm going to add an annotation that says just that. So I'm going to select the analysis state, and I'm going to select not affected. I'm going to select a justification. I'm going to say it's protected by mitigating controls. Uh, response, this is something that you would use more likely when you are actually annotating that this is uh, exploitable, but this is not exploitable, it's not affected, so there is no response on my end. And so the reason why uh, the description I want to provide here is that the user input is actually not sent to the vulnerable library. This library requires that an attacker provide a malicious encrypted file, and this is actually not possible due to the governing controls on what files can be passed to the compression library. So I'm going to say just that. And by the magic of copy and paste, it's all in there. So I'm going to save that. And now I have added a VEX annotation to my SBOM. And again, this is super important if I'm sharing this SBOM out um, to anyone internally or to a third party so they can have all of the context on why this vulnerability still remains in my application.